Sunshine is going to be very vulnerable today and tell you about something that she's been doing. Um, so I've been doing tutoring for reading and spelling. That's what I've been doing. I'm bring my iPad. And I'm going to bring my iPad so you guys can see what I do in tutoring. Let's get started. Okay, so today in our Orton Gillingham tutoring, we are going to work on when you use CK or K. What sound does CK make? And what sound does K make? Good. So today you're going to decide do you need to use a K or a CK? But let's first talk about what the rule is. When do we use a CK? After one short vowel. Do we use CK at the end of the word or syllable or at the beginning? At the end. Yeah, at the end of a word or syllable after one short vowel. Good. So let's do the first one. B-L-O. Do you think we need a K or CK? Good. So now what does that say? Block. Block. Good. Let's do the next one. Good. What does that say? Stick. Good job, Sunshine. Okay, you can do the next one. Good. What does that say? Turn. I didn't hear you. Turn. Let's tap it out. Use your fingers and tap it out. Turn. Turn. So let's use our fingers. Turn. Um. Trunk, tur unk. Now you're right, you used a K. Why did you use a K and not a CK? Because there's a blocker. There's a blocker. What's the blocker? The N. The N. So it's not right after one short vowel. There's a blocker, so you have to use a K. Good job. All right, let's do the next one. Monk. Look at it again. What does A and K say? We have ink, ink ank, ank. good. So what does that say? Ink, bank. Bank, perfect. And why'd you use K? Because it's a block. Good job. Let's do the next one. Peak. Peak. Now wait a minute. That's after a vowel. You're right. Tell me why. Because, uh, Is that a short vowel or a long vowel? A long vowel. A long vowel. And we can only use CK after what? One short vowel. One short vowel. And that's two vowels and it's long. Good job. What does that say? Peak. Perfect. Keep going. Close. Tap it out. Good. You can do the next. Finish them up. And you can flip it over if you need to because it says CK on the back. Yeah. What does that spell? Look at it again. Eh. Good. Tap it out. Perfect. Good job. Okay, so today we're going to practice our consonant LE syllable. Do you remember how to divide it? Yes. Consonant LE. Count back three and chop it off. Consonant LE. Count back three. Chop it off. So I'm going to do two of them to remind us. So we're going to start at the end. It ends in a consonant LE and we're going to count back three. One, two, three. Three, and then we're going to chop it, off. chop it off. So this first syllable says r id rid, and what does this say? Dull. Dull. So we have rid Dull. riddle. Good. So let's do this one. Say it out loud. Consonant L E. Count back three. Chop it off. Good. Now this one's different. It's an open syllable. It ends 
in a vowel. So what does that say? Rye. Rye. Full. Full. So what's our word? Rifle. Good. How about you divide? Constant L-E. Count back. Three. Chop it off. So let's tap this one out and read this. Gog. Gog. Goggle. Goggle. Good. Let's do this one. Constant L-E. Count back three. Chop it off. Puzzle. Puzzle. Let's do two more. What's that say? Tug. So look, this is open. So what's that? A. Tay. Good. Last one. Good job. Good job, sunshine. I am your friend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. never said Then what that. am I? <laughs> you're just an ordinary girl. <laughs> you're not my friend anymore. <laughs> I was never your friend. I've always been your friend. <laughs> you know you Yes, don't try. I don't even try. You know I'm your best friend. <laughs> you told me. Yes. Everybody can tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish up. Mm. All right. So today in our Orton-Gillingham or OG tutorial, we are working on vowel R. And today we're going to discriminate between O-R and I-R. What does O-R say, or. Sunshine? Or. Or. What does I-R say? Er. Er. Good. So I'm going to give you some words to spell and we are going to have you put it in the right column, okay? So your first one is gonna be pretty easy. It's gonna be the word for, like I am rooting for Georgia. Perfect, okay? Your next one's pretty easy too, sir. Sir is a polite name for a man. Good. Now we're going to mix it up. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, your first one is shirt. Shirt. Good. Let's try the word dirt. Dirt. Make sure to check your bed for dirt to make sure you do your D's the right way. Perfect. Good job. All right, your next one is sort. I am going to sort all of my socks. Good. Corn. I love corn on the cob. Yay, good job. All right, let's do birth. Birth. Birth is the day that you were born. Make sure to check your bed so that you get your B and D right. Birth. Good job. All right, this is the last one. Stormy. Stormy. You can do it. It's a tricky one. Stormy. Yes! Good job! Now, why did you put a Y at the end? You are right. Y says what at the end of a two-syllable word? Yeah. At the end of a two-syllable word, like uh, stormy. E. 
E. Good job. And so if you put it you like there and I'll just say eh. Yes, good job. I am so proud of you. Great job. That was a hard one. You were like, oh no, but sunshine rocked it. So how was tutoring? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. It's good. What'd you, you think about? I don't need to know what happened. I don't need to know what happened? Mm -hmm. Why? Am I gonna watch the movie? You don't need to know. I think I'm going to watch the video. No, yeah. no, no, no. Did you like filming? Yeah? It made it cool I, and different? I had so much fun with you guys. You had fun with them? Awesome. Thanks for watching. But it was heavy. It was heavy to hold Everybody it? Everybody was. Make sure you like yeah. and subscribe to see more fun vlogs, horror videos, and toy videos. Bye! Bye! Bye.